Hi everyone, this is Wendy with Boop Baby. I have worked with Boop Baby for about seven years. I have cloth diapered three kids and this YouTube series is just to help you know more about cloth diapers. If you're just looking at cloth diapering, if you're thinking about it, um, hopefully this will help you out. This is cloth 101, which is the types of cloth diapers. I'm just going to walk you through um, a few different kinds of cloth diapers. We're going to talk about the differences between them. Hopefully that will help you narrow down what kind you're most interested in when you go to purchase cloth diapers. The first kind I'm going to show you is the most convenient. It also can be the most expensive if you want to invest in a full stash. It's the all-in-one. All-in-one simply means it is just all one piece. Um, you put the diaper on your baby, you wash it, put the diaper on your baby um, after it's wet or dirty, you take it off, put it in the wet bag, wash it, and then you move on to a new diaper. So you change the whole diaper every time you change the baby. I personally, if I'm buying a new diaper in a new print that I like, I almost always get the all-in-one if it's an option. Um, there are different kinds of all-in-ones. All-in-ones are really interesting. They range in price. I think our least expensive is this one. It's the Imagine Stay Dry All-in-One. Um, all the way up. I think our most expensive is the Smart Bottoms. Um, dream Diaper right now. This is the Smart Bottoms 3.1. This is just, I got two different ones to kind of show you the differences. A lot of all-in-ones have a snake style insert. They do this because when it's, you fold it, when you put it on the baby, and that makes it faster to dry. If you had all of these layers all sewn together, it would come out of the dryer wet, or you'd waste a lot of energy trying to dry it. Um, so all-in-ones are awesome. They're super convenient. Um, they come in, this is organic cotton, which is why it's on the more expensive end. They're made in the USA. This one is less expensive because rather than organic cotton inside, it has microfiber. You will come across people on the internet who tell you microfiber is bad, microfiber smells bad. I have, again, cloth diapered three kids. What I found is if your microfiber stinks, your natural fibers are not going to take long to start stinking as well. So... It will start to smell first, but if you're getting stinky diapers, you have a wash problem that needs to be solved, and we will talk more about washing later. Every baby fits every diaper differently. No baby is um, the same. I have found that most of the brands we carry have a pretty good range of fit, and it's very rare that you'll find a diaper that just doesn't fit on a baby. Now, if you have a baby with like especially chunky thighs or something adorable like that, um, we can help you choose a diaper that has a specific fit for your baby. But generally, most babies can fit in most diapers. The other cool thing about cloth diapers is that most of them are one size. That means you can start putting them on about when baby is eight or nine pounds, depending on how chunky their little legs are. Um, I had eight and nine pound newborns, and when even if they're eight or nine pounds at first, they come out with those little chicken legs. So sometimes they don't fit right away. The way that you adjust a cloth diaper is there are, it looks like a lot of snaps. It's not that bad. There are, on this diaper, three rows of snaps. So you take this snap, we're going to make it as small as we can, and snap it into the bottom of these three rows, just like that. Um, one other hint is if you have your diaper snapped down, you always want to stick your fingers in and make sure that the diaper is folded down like that. That will prevent, if it's folded up, you'll get weird gaps and pulling on the belly area. Sometimes the legs don't fit quite right, but if you have it folded down inside, you will get a better fit. So this is snapped all the way down on a smart bottom. And then we'll just snap it in as tiny as it goes. Um, most cloth diapers that are one size fit from 8 to 35 pounds. 
there we go. It's a little tiny diaper for a little tiny new baby. Um, while these do fit on newborns, you can just imagine a newborn wearing this. They do make newborn diapers. Almost every brand we carry has newborn diapers. Newborn cloth diapering is kind of a whole different thing, so we'll save that for another video. They will fit. They will be kind of bulky um, until they grow into them, which is fine. It's not a problem, but something for parents to be aware of, especially if you have disposable diaper to baby before and you're expecting it to be trim. Okay, next is pocket diapers. Pocket diapers are, when I started cloth diapering, almost everything was a pocket diaper. I think that's because they didn't have the techniques of manufacturing. They hadn't invented the snake style insert like on the all-in-one yet. Um, but a pocket diaper is just what it sounds like. It has a pocket right here. This is a Thirsty's natural pocket diaper. So this is organic cotton. The small insert is also organic cotton and the large insert is organic cotton blended with hemp. Hemp is very, very absorbent. Um, it doesn't absorb very fast. So that's why they blend it with cotton so that you don't have a puddle until it gets absorbed. The cool thing about them is that they actually will agitate out in the wash. So a pocket diaper, you have to take the absorbent part and you need to stuff it inside the pocket. A lot of pockets have a micro fleece on here, which is awesome. Um, many pockets stuff with microfiber. You can get other pockets that stuff with other things, but that is an option. Um, so you stuff the absorbent part inside the pocket. You need to unstuff it prior to putting it in the wash because otherwise most pocket diapers, you'll get kind of a crumpled up insert down here um, that you then need to pull out and it's still wet and it's not fun. Thirsty's has two openings and we'll talk more about the different brands of pockets, but this one you actually don't have to unstuff because it will agitate itself out in the wash. Pockets are very convenient for daycares, grandmas, people who may not necessarily be excited about cloth diapering um, because they don't have like that insert that you have to fold in place. They're put it on, take it off. It's just less convenient for the person who has to wash them and stuff them. Um, you need a new pocket diaper every time. You can't reuse the pocket diaper because, I mean, they pee on the lining inside. You don't want to put that back on their skin. So they're kind of like an all-in-one. You use them one time and wash them. Pocket diapers. This is a fitted. This is the Sloom Overnight bamboo fleece. These are super, super, super bulky and amazingly absorbent for nighttime, especially, or extended wear. Um, a fitted is absorbent all the way through. This is absorbent. This is absorbent. It's absorbent all the way around, all of these snaps. Um, fitteds are amazing. They are one of the bulkier types of diapers. But if you have a heavy wetter, they are awesome. They're also great, like I said before, for extended wear. So fitteds will require a waterproof cover. So after you put this on the baby, you will need to put one of these on also. This is just laminated polyester, just like is on the inside of an all-in-one or a pocket diaper. It's waterproof. It keeps all of the wetness inside the diaper rather than on the car seat or the sheets or anything else. We will come back to fitteds in, or to covers in just a minute. Next, we will talk about all-in-twos. All-in-twos are really great bang for your buck. The cool thing about all-in-twos is that you only need to buy four to six shells, which is the outer side. Um, the inside, you'll need as many changes as you're going to have of the inside. So an all in two, you just snap it in. If it gets wet, you snap it out and then put a new one in and you just wash this part. Um, if the shell gets pooped on or dirty, you'll want to wash the whole thing. So you will want to have at least a couple of those, especially if you have a small baby with liquid poop that goes everywhere. Um, this is the Grovia, in case you're curious, the Grovia All-in-Two. The All-in-Twos are a really good deal because you only have to buy, for example, 20 of these instead of 20 of the whole thing. So they are a really great option if you're looking for a more modern cloth diaper, 
but you have a budget to deal with. There are a couple different brands we carry of the all-in twos also. This is a pre-fold. When you first buy a pre-fold, it looks like this. Totally flat. It's a little bigger. Once you've washed the pre-fold, it quilts up a little. This is a bamboo pre-fold, but you can also see that it shrinks. It shrinks a little bit also. Um, and that just, I mean, that's just what it does, makes it more absorbent. It is bamboo blended with cotton. It's not straight bamboo. The difference between the cotton and the bamboo, um, they're between 10 and 20% more absorbent, the bamboo. They also tend to be more expensive, but they are so much softer. Like the bamboo is just so soft. It's lovely. So that's my favorite thing about the bamboo. These are like the old cloth diapers that my mom used on my siblings and I, um, but they are much better. Um, they are thicker. There's more layers. They come in, these ones come in three sizes. Most babies will be potty trained before they'll grow out of the size two. So you just have to buy two sets of prefolds, and you would need, like I said, with the all in twos, you would need... 20 ish of these to wash every other day and six six covers which is this part this goes over the prefold I have here a um, couple different ways we can put it on so take the prefold fold the legs in make sure the back is flared out put baby inside Fold this up the belly. Now you can see this goes up to the puppy's chin. If you have a baby that is just really short for the pre-fold, um, you can always fold it, fold it down like this in front, and then bring the tabs around. Here. Okay, so these are the ones that come from the back. Um, you can use, there are a couple options. This is a snappy. It's like a little ace bandage. It has claws on it, and it just holds on to his hips and here, and it keeps the prefold on. Obviously, after this point, you will need to put on a waterproof cover, just like on the fitted. So the downside to prefolds, obviously, is that they're a little more work. Um, you have to do two steps, the covers, you have to fold it around, you have to fasten it somehow. The upside is that they are way, way, way inexpensive compared to the other options. They also absorb a lot. So those are two very big upsides is cost and absorbency. Um, I find that they aren't super bulky. They are a little bulkier than, say, like an all-in-one. But if you have a baby who pees a lot, they are one of the more trim options. Um, there are also pins. We sell diaper pins that you can use instead of the snappy. I am also going to show you Boingos, which are these. Um, they have the little claws on them, just like the snappy. And... They go on kind of like pins. They just clip and grab. Kind of like that. Boingos. So we have both of those available on our store at bootbaby.com. The last kind of cloth diaper that I want to show you today is a flat. Flats are like the diapers my grandma used. <laughs> they are very old school. I actually love flats. This is a flat. So they call prefolds prefolds because they are already kind of folded into a diaper. And a flat, which was before prefolds, people have to fold them. There are a couple different options. My personal favorite is the kite fold. I will do another video of all flat folds. Um, this puppy is very small. So I'm actually going to do the mini kite fold for him because he is way too short for the rise of the regular kite fold. I'm just going to fold it myself um, real quick. 
and show you how it goes on. So flats, obviously a big downside is that you have to fold them into a diaper. An upside of flats is that they are even cheaper than pre-folds. They're very inexpensive. They're great if you're on a budget. Also, the fact that they're one layer means they come really, really, really clean, really easy. So if you need to hand wash, I actually take flats when I go camping because um, if they're sitting in the sun in a wet bag for three days, I'm not worried that they will get ruined and get too much gross stuff, bacteria growing inside because they're all one layer. So flats definitely have a place in my stash. And some people will use flats and just never use anything else. So they are very trim, which I like about them. And then I'm going to just put the snappy on. You can see this is the puppy wearing a flat. Um, they're a great option. They come in one size, so you can use these from birth to potty training. You don't have to buy two different sizes like the pre-folds. They are just a little bit more work than the pre-folds. Um, there are several different brands of covers as well. This is a Rumperoos cover, in case you were wondering. I am going to get some wet bags, and we'll talk about wet bags and cloth wipes just a little bit. I have bounced back and forth between cloth and disposable wipes for years. Um, what finally switched me over was when they started releasing these really convenient solutions to use with cloth wipes. Um, for a while I made my own and then I would just run out and then I'd have time to go down to the kitchen and make more. So I was getting water from the sink and eventually I just go back to disposable wipes. These make it super easy. So um, Thirsty's has booty luster which is an awesome just spray. You can spray on the cloth wipes or you can spray directly on the baby. That's one. Apple Cheeks has another one. It's another spray bottle applicator. So super convenient, especially if you're on the go. Um, and La Petite Creme, this is a pump bottle. Um, since we have one that's open and it's a tester, I can show you. It's kind of like a really runny lotion. Um, I actually use this at my house. Um, I like the consistency of it. All of them are awesome. I know Lois uses, I think Lois uses both, both of these other ones. She likes the spray bottle. Um, cloth wipes, Thirsty's makes some great ones. Grovia makes some really awesome um, kind of terry texture ones. Oso oh Cozy makes very inexpensive flannel ones. And they're just a great little square of cotton. One cloth wipe goes so much further than like three or four disposable wipes. I can clean up a whole poop with one cloth wipe. So the nice thing is about it, why I finally switched was I just got tired of picking little dirty wipes out of my garbage can because I had put all of the diapers in the wet bag. So those are definitely an option. Maybe not something you want to jump into right away, but if you're like me and you find you get tired of pulling all the poopy wipes out of the of the trash, maybe you will think about it. Um, these are wet bags. A wet bag is the other important thing you need. Although when I started, I just started with six diapers and a pillowcase and a trash can. It got really wet. <laughs> I was happy to get the wet bag. Um, this is a Grovia wet bag. Um, this is a small travel size. So this is the size that I would keep, for example, in my diaper bag. Um, they're fantastic. Grovia's has this great gusset on it that makes it a little bit hold more. Um, you'll need a small one, at least one. I have several because I will come back home and then throw the dirty diapers in the diaper bag and then I don't want to put a wet wet bag back in my stuff but at least one to start out and if you decide later you need more you can get more um the other um this is a larger wet bag this is the one by bum genius this is the weekender this will hold a couple days worth of cloth diapers um I keep one of these just hanging on the door knob in the baby's room. It's really convenient. You just throw the diapers in, you take the whole wet bag down with all the diapers in it, shake it out in the wash, throw the wet bag in, it comes clean with the diapers. So there are several different brands of wet bag. I'm not going to go into all of them right now. Um, this is just one. There is the kind that zips like this, and then there's the reusable pail liner, which is this. And this is a Thirsties one. Um, 
as you can see, it's kind of like just a big reusable trash liner. You get a plastic or metal trash can. We recommend metal because it holds on to the smell less. Um, just stretch that out, put it inside. It's waterproof. None of the wet stuff goes into your trash can, but if there's poop in it, the poop will stick to the plastic smell. So maybe metal. Um, and then again, just take it out, shake it out into the wash, throw it in and wash the whole thing. It's the easiest way that I've found to store and uh, wash cloth diapers. That is all for this video. You've gone through the first cloth diaper 101. We will go on to discuss the different kinds of all-in-ones, pockets, fitteds, all-in-twos that we carry, covers that we carry in store. So if one of these types of cloth diapers interests you, you can go on to those. Thank you for joining me and watching this, and I hope it was helpful. See you later.